Try to find a quiet spot inside your mind, inside your body, where you can stay as the breath comes in, as the breath goes out. And John Lee's images of a post at the edge of the sea, planted down into the sand. The waves come in, the waves go out, but the post stays in place. In the same way, the breath comes in, the breath goes out, but you stay in one place. I want to use another image. John Suat talked about this as our quiet corner, just as the monastery here is at the end of the road. We're away from a lot of the disturbances of the world. You want a spot inside your mind that can be away from the disturbances of the world, even when you're physically in the world. Because the world has all sorts of weird values. You don't want to pick them up. You want to have a place where you can protect yourself from them. The world sees it. People who are consuming lots of things should be respected. They flaunt their consumption. But here we come to the monastery. And if we're flaunting anything, we're flaunting the fact that we're trying to develop the causes for goodness. Instead of just eating up our old goodness, we're trying to create more goodness. That's something that really should be respected. You want to maintain that attitude in mind. Because the world has all kinds of strange ideas about respect. And you spend a lot of time soaking up those ideas, they become your ideas. The image they give in the canon is of a leaf that's used to wrap different things. In the old days, before they had plastic and paper, when pe people sew things, they would wrap them in leaves. If you can take a rotten fish and you wrap it in a leaf, the leaf is going to smell of rotten fish. If you take fragrant wood, like sandalwood, wrap it in a leaf, then the leaf is going to pick up the scent of the sandalwood. In the same way, the areas where you tend to look for your values, tend to listen to other people's values, you're going to pick up their values as well, good or bad. So it's good to have a place like this where you can recharge your good values, get the mind into a place where you can look at the world around it without being overcome by the world, and see what's really of worth in life, and then try to maintain that attitude as you leave. So that even though you're in a noisy world, you still have your quiet corner. Because you can't take the monastery with you, but you can take the skills of meditation with you. You can take the values with you, but they require protection. So protect the spot inside. Protect your right views inside, the views that tell you that goodness of life doesn't lie in good things. It lies in good states of mind, good intentions. Maintain that attitude. And that's how you protect yourself from the world. The world has its dangers. We tend to think of the, the dangers of people shooting you or robbing you. But the real dangers are if you pick up wrong view from people outside. Because the mind does have its so potential for greed, aversion, and delusion inside. So you've got to protect the mind so it doesn't pick up ideas that would lead it to do or say or think things that would be bad for you. Have a strong sense of the value of the right view, the wrong, strong sense of the value of having a mind that's quiet and independent like this, so you can gauge for yourself what it really is of worth, genuine worth in the world.